All right. We have mastered CSV's Excel and JSON files. And now it's time to meet the real MVP of Python data analysis, Pandas. No, not the black and white bamboo eating kind. Though that would be cool. This one eats data from big fast and transform it faster than you can say Excel who? In this video, we will learn what a series and a data frame are, how to create them and how to access data using indexing. And by the end, you will look at Excel and whisper, bro, we are done. So first of all, what is Pandas? So Pandas is Python's most popular library for data manipulation and analysis. It's built on top of NumPy and gives you spreadsheet like power, but in pure Python. So think of Pandas as Excel on steroids, but automated faster and less prone to random crashes. So how can we install Pandas? So let's jump into a VS code and open our terminal. So we are in our VS code. I am just opening my terminal here and I am writing here pip install pandas and you can see there are some magic is happening in our terminal and yes it's installed okay so after installing the pandas how we can import it so it's very clear and easy you have to just write import pandas as pd i am using pd as an alias for pandas so where i have to write pandas i can simply write pd now let's start with something small so with a series so basically a series is one dimensional labeled array like a single column in excel so let's create one series here so first of all import pandas as pd and here i am declaring a variable which is sales so sales equals to pd dot series so actually, uh, when we imported that pandas module, there are some of the functions in it, which we can apply on our actions. So to create the series, there is a function in pandas called series function. And in the series function, we have to pass the array and the name of the array. Okay, so pd.series and I am passing the array, which is 200, 300, 150 and 400 and here I am passing the name of that series which is sales. Now I am printing that sales variable and yes we got our first series here. So as you can see we have our series with a name and the data type also. So each number has an index like row number in excel. But here the index is a smart. You can customize it also. So let's customize our index. Okay, so I am writing the same variable here sales equals to pd dot series and the same numbers 200, 300, 150, and 400. And now I am writing here our second property, which is index. And I am assigning the array value in the index. So Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And in the last, the name of the series, which is sales. Now, let's print it again. And yes, now you can see that our indexes are changed. So boom, your series just become a mini report card. Now, let's meet the real deal, the data frame. So what is a data frame? A data frame is like an Excel sheet, multiple columns, rows, and tons of powers. Now, let's quickly create a data frame here. So, basically, the data frame is a dictionary where we have keys and the values. So, first of all, we have to describe a dictionary. So, I have a variable here, data equals to curly braces. I have my keys and values. So, first key is product and the values are laptop, mouse, keyboard monitor the second one is price so here are the price 85000 1500 2200 and 12000 much expensive now the last one is quantity which is 
50, 200, 150, 80. Now let's transform that dictionary or the data into the data frame. So for that, I have a variable df equals to pd dot data frame. So here is the new function or the keyword which is related to the pandas library which is data frame. So to create data frame, there is a function called data frame. So pd dot data frame and inside that data frame, I am just putting that dictionary or the data to create the data frame. So just write data here and then print df. And here you go. Look at that. Your very own Excel sheet created with just a few lines of code. No formulas, no VLOOKUP and no tiers. Now let's get data out of it. So how can we access the data? So first of all, we can do it by indexing. So if you want the first few rows, what you can do is you can simply write print df because the data in the df. Now there is one more function which is head. So you can collect your starting rows from the function head. So you have to just write df.head and number of rows that you want. So here I am writing two. Now if I print it, so here are your first two rows of that particular data. Now, if you need a specific column, what you can do, so you can do is print df square brackets and the name of that particular column. And here it is. Now, if you want multiple columns, what you can do is, so you have to just write print df square bracket and the array of column name. So here I am writing print comma price. And yes, here it is. Now, if you want a specific cell, it's very easy in pandas. Now, what you have to do is you just have to write print df dot lock, which is generally uh, used for the location. And inside it, you just have to write two comma price. And with that, you can directly pull out the second label or the second cell for that particular column. Now, if you want to locate for a certain position, then what you can do is you can directly write print df dot i lock square bracket and inside the square bracket, you just write two comma one. So for that, you can find out the particular cell of that matrix. So dot loc or dot lock is like asking by name and dot iloc or dot i lock is like asking by number. Like one says, hey Bob, and the other one says, hey, person number two. Now let's create a quick data frame challenge here. So what I am going to write here, let's do it. So I am writing import pandas spd. We have the data. So data equals to curly braces. First of all, the cities, which are Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata. The second one is the temperature. So the temperature are 32, 30, 33 and 31. Now the humidity is 45, 60, 55 and 70. Now I am just creating my data frame. So df equals to pd dot data frame, the data. Now I am printing the data frame so print df and now i am accessing the specific row and column print df dot loc square brackets one comma temperature now your challenge is try to printing only the cities where temperature is greater than 31 degrees celsius i hope you can do this so just find out the answer of that particular challenge comment it in the comment box and that's it you have just learned series data frame and indexing the holy trinity of pandas basics now the next one is data cleaning and transformation where the real fun begins and it is the most complex part of the data analysis i think because you have to analyze the data in the next video so we'll see you in the next video till then goodbye happy coding